Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Tomorrow start with the lecture. I think there are a lot of concepts which, which would be raw right now. So what I recommend is you guys study tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon, the tomorrow afternoon when we take a class again, I'll be going through a lot of concepts all over again. In in tomorrow the class will be at the same time seven. So so let's talk about top down approach. What we do in the top down approach is guys, is this I need to mute it again. Yeah, guys, is this very clear that what we do in the data warehouse? Basically, is this very clear that data mart is basically a subset of a data warehouse? So basically, many data mart together actually form a bigger data warehouse. Is this clear? Okay. So, so what what do we do in the top down testing is we we load the data warehouse and then after loading the data warehouse, we create smaller data mart. That is top down. And there is another one called bottom up. What we do is basically we load separate data mart, and from this data mart we create one central data warehouse. Is this clear, everyone? Folks, top down and bottom up clear. Yeah, I'll repeat. In top down approach, we have a data warehouse and then we, like this data warehouse would have finance data, would have sales data, would have, uh, this data mark will have finance data, sales data and then we will have all, we'll also have something like uh, sales, finance and HR data. Okay, you can, using this big data warehouse, you can actually create sales data, finance data and HR data. Data mark separately. Okay. You can do the reverse way also where you have sales data, finance data, and SR data. You can integrate that data again to create a central data warehouse. Is this clear now? So, yeah, before we conclude for the day. Next time when you go to Walmart or try shopping online, remember the data warehouse is being used to help the business or rather help you. It is basically helping the business to earn more money and it's helping you to select things optimally. Okay. So so basically what happens is at times when you are buying something based on your pattern of buying something. For example, there's a product A which is not getting sold. But uh, when combined with the product C, for example, there is this thin tie which nobody is buying. But if you sell it, sell it for free, which is blue tie, this pin with with uh, extra top of size of hundred rupees. So basically, what will happen is people will buy this. So the 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 tie which was never not getting sold will now get will now will now be sold. So these are some patterns that you can actually identify using a data warehouse. Okay. So now, now this is something that now, now just imagine this. I've been talking a lot about report, report, report. This is this is this is like one area where you have months. With months, you have sales. So toothpaste, cream. Okay, you you know this is being. This is generally what it means. 
is first in the first month so many juices are sold in the second month so many coca cola are sold now this is your two dimensional data what happens with 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 data warehousing you have a third dimension coming in which would be like region so in the north region in the first month how much june do for sold that is something that you can answer oh you can see and do we have a session on sunday uh uh we can we discuss that tomorrow i'll have to go to the admin for you and okay. then then we'll decide accordingly okay sure cuz i want to be fair to everyone can you see the screen now the ppt uh what can you see on the ppt before we conclude Oh, still that is very easy. Give me like a minute. Okay, I guess I, it's better. Of, it's better of that. Uh, we end the class now because there is some problem over here. I rather encourage this moment to ask some questions. So please, guys, shoot your questions. I'm sorry, I didn't see a lot of the chat. So we just repeat your questions again. I'm sorry. My email ID would be. I'm, I'm sending my email ID like everyone so that you guys can drop in. Nice doubt. I guess you will, you will be able to see my screen now. Yes. Okay, so I'll just continue. This is the last slide that I actually wanted to show. This is not the. Ah. Can you see this like multi-dimensional data? No, this is OLAP answers aggregation comparison ranking. Okay, we will take this slide tomorrow. There's some there's some good problems with the WebEx thing. I'll try. I'll have a word with the S two K team to fix that up. Anyways, we, guys, uh, we can see now multi-dimensional data. Oh, you can see it. Then it's awesome. So basically, yeah. So now this is what. Okay, can you see something called as month return over there? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. There is. In month, there are products which is juice, cola, milk, cream, food, etc. So, so they use of using this, this tabular structure, you can actually we see in first month how much soap, how much toothpaste, how much cream was sold. This is called a two-dimensional view of data. Is this clear? Hello. So this is like two dimensional view of data. Now, now let's add another dimension altogether. This is what data warehousing does, helps to it. It adds a third dimension, for example, or, or ends the dimension. For example, now this dimension over here is region. What you can do is, in the first month, what was the total sale of soap in North region of America? What was the total sale of soap in South region of America? That is something that you can actually compute. That is where data warehousing is. That that is the cream of data warehousing. It helps you to visualize data. Yeah, it helps us. It helps us form in cubes like this. So, 
it's better we can continue to hear all because we can't hear anything like you are talking like fast forwarding i am i'm seriously talking very so i just this some network no it's clear i'm just like like some people are facing some issue and some are not so so pain free is it russian i mean I, i guess the recording would be a little clear so, so let's let's just you guys can view the recording and please please do i didn't mail it to have any doubt i'm so sorry that we are facing so much problem but this is not in my hand it's something with respect to the network so i'm i'm, I'm very sorry i tried my best to explain whatever i could anyway so this is the last slide for the day uh so data never dies not to be kill the data business these days have become dependent on data we do forecasting we do time series analysis we do we do you know what will a customer buy which customer is potentially planning to leave me all that can be computed using the data so all this means there are more and more jobs for people like us who who are working in the field of data integration as a tester as a developer so folks uh let's let's meet up tomorrow again so what we'll be covering tomorrow is basically fact table dimension table fact versus dimension star schema schema fact schema and slowly changing dimension so please drop an email with your question so sorry for yesterday Uh, yesterday is missed for the lecture and also like we will be sending you the ppts and the recordings and so so i hope you had a good time in this lecture thank you yeah go ahead um uh, so i just wanted to know how uh, what is the role of qa um, as far as this etl is concerned okay so i was actually trying to cover this in the third section but since i can cover it now so what happens is basically you know we see there's a lot of data flowing here and there it's like data moving here to there so what do we do is basically you you understand the fact that data is the most critical entity over here in in the entire data data in the entire data data transformation data integration aspect so what we do is we do a lot of data validation uh by by thing data validation what we do is we check whether whether a target table has the correct data on whether source the target mapping is correct or whether transformation suggested by the business are correct or not we do a lot of these transformations is this clear ma'am is this clear hello everyone oh okay i'll repeat once more Uh, the question was, what is my role as an ETL tester? So what we do as an ETL tester is, look, data from the source table is getting loaded into the target table. Now, data from the source table is getting loaded. So basically, data is flowing over the network. What we check is basically that is the data which is being transformed, which is being loaded into the target table. is correct or no so we do validation hello okay can we cover this tomorrow like how many people are suggesting let's let's do it tomorrow let's do it tomorrow itself for those who have understood go ahead with it for those who are not we can cover it tomorrow any other questions everyone with respect to today's class hey lecture so as far as the audio problem this talk and email uh, to admin if you want cuz i'll be talking to them this regarding this also so so let's 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 see what we work out work out if not you can also join in the next batch i'll have a word with them to allow it. Singapore it's like 9 a.m. in the morning. My class started at 7 a.m. Um, sir, I have just a question. Like yesterday's class, uh, when can we cover that? So that uh, I should. Yesterday, be... this is the first class. Yesterday, I didn't take a class at all. 
Yes, yes. Like uh, there will be oh, three right. sessions. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so look, I, I have a word with them that two alternatives to do with respect to this. Either you, either I allow you to uh, join uh, like the batch again, or we'll we'll see. We'll have batch on Monday or Sunday, or we'll have batch on both the days, Sunday as well as Monday. So I'll repeat the same thing. uh like on sunday as well as monday so this is basically it's basically a call from on behalf of mine and s2k because there was a internet outage so it's something that we'll cover we'll either take two batches or we'll do something as per your convenience so so that is something that i have told okay got it thank you yeah devi i i stay in henderson not sure anyways uh, guys uh we can end the class Thanks, thanks for your patience and sorry for all the time. Thanks, Sanjeev. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.